Hi y'all, this is Larry at Deep South Texas. It's June 5th and it's time to take another look at the garden. And the star of the garden this week is the sweet corn. It is looking great. And I think we've got a couple, couple ears here. We're going to uh, harvest and, and check it out. So three days ago, I uh, harvested my first ear of corn. I decided it wasn't quite ready yet, but uh, I think it's time to try it again. So let's get this one off of here. And see what we have. Well, I'm thinking that's uh, definitely ready now. We'll get uh, we'll get some more. Anything that looks like it's ready, we're going to harvest today. Now, this is the uh, G90. Um, I only have two rows of the G90. The rest of the sweet corn is uh, candy corn, and it was planted about a month later. It's not ready yet. And in the candy corn. They have a, a severe corn earworm infestation. So the ears weren't out yet, but they were the earworms were chewing up the tassels pretty badly. So I went through uh, each plant and <laughs> found about one one earworm in the tassels in, in each plant and uh, took those out and disposed of them. I don't know if they're in the ears, but uh, they haven't. They haven't attacked the G90 yet, I think simply because it was uh, a month more mature than the candy corn. So we'll see, we'll see in another month how the candy corn fared, but the G90, it looks delicious. Oh, and I wanted to tell you that we've harvested all the rest of our onions and uh, this one was the biggest onion we grew this year. Actually, I think it's the biggest onion I've ever grown. So it's uh, 1.2 pounds, uh, more than half a kilogram. <laughs> what a beauty. So I have been uh, harvesting okra for the past week. I'm going to have lots and lots of okra this year. I try to... Uh, I try to get them when they're young, so they're nice and, and tender, and uh, they're looking pretty good, and they're tasting great. I have uh, three nice watermelon coming on. There's one of them there, and then there is another one. Uh, over here. I think it'll be a while till they're ready, but uh, my mouth is watering already. And I've seen my first uh, first bloom on uh, my Cherokee tan pumpkins. This one has snaked its way all over into the okra bed and uh, oh, that looks like that's going to set a pumpkin. And the swallowtail caterpillars have finally shown up this year. They're, they're kind of late. Unfortunately, they showed up on my fennel. <laughs> and I really wanted them on this, on this dill. So I've been, uh, I've been moving them over to the dill. But I have this dill planted uh, pretty close to my, my fennel. So I'll be on constant watch. And the fennel is putting on lots and lots of seeds, which is what I'm looking for. The plants themselves aren't looking too healthy, but uh, 
Lots of seed heads. The cantaloupe uh, are starting to bulk up as well. So there's at least uh, three real big ones in here and a couple small ones coming on. The tomatoes are finishing up for the year. Probably have uh, a couple dozen tomatoes left to harvest, but uh, I don't see, uh, expect to see any new tomatoes get started. So it's always a sad day when the tomatoes are done, but this is the time of year when it's just simply too hot for them. So I'm happy with the harvest that I got this year. Uh, really satisfied. But there are some items that really enjoy the heat. So these are the pink eyed purple hull peas. They are thriving right now. And the sweet potatoes are also loving the heat. They're going to take over uh, this end of the garden for sure. It'll be hard uh, having a path to walk through here. Just as a whim, I came out and uh, planted some pinto beans. These are just uh, out of a bag of beans I bought at the store. And uh, I wasn't sure they'd even come up, but they, they've come up and they're growing. I don't know if it's the right time of year to grow these, but uh, if they like the heat, like the pink eyed purple hulls, this will be a good crop. The ginger continues to do well. And I think that might be uh, my first turmeric popping up out of the ground. <laughs> I hope it comes up okay. The peppers continue to thrive. Here are some uh, habaneros, not ready to harvest yet, but uh, pretty abundant. And the paprika peppers are doing great as well. I've harvested uh, seven or eight of these and uh, after they turned red and dehydrated them and once, uh, once I get the rest of them dehydrated I'm going to make my own paprika powder. These are without a doubt the best green bell peppers, bell peppers I've ever, uh, I've ever grown. Very prolific. They turn a, a beautiful red color when ripe as well. There's, uh, there's one red one down there and I've already harvested a couple more. So couldn't be happier about the green peppers, the bell peppers. And the Marconis, they continue to produce as well. Jalapenos, Lots and lots of jalapenos. I need to uh, get out and harvest some of my peppers and make some uh, hot pepper sauce. And let's not forget the plebanos. I've tried for years to grow these and never been successful. But this year, they are looking great. A few cayennes coming on. Some of them are beginning to turn red. I love the way these peppers look. And uh, another hot pepper. These are some New Mexican variety. And <laughs> they're turning red. And the plant is just loaded with them. The green beans, on the other hand, aren't, aren't doing too well. They continue to flower, lots of flower. They set on little beans, lots and lots of little beans, but the beans just, uh, they just don't grow. They, they get to this, about this size, and then they just sort of dry up. There's some examples right here. I don't know why. Too hot, I guess. This eggplant is doing well. 
lots and lots of eggplant. In fact, we had uh, eggplant last night for dinner. I plan on harvesting some moringa leaves in the next couple weeks. The banana plants are just stunning. A very welcome addition to the garden this year. I've harvested all the cucumbers I can use. Now I have about half a dozen huge cu cucumbers in here. I'm just letting uh, get ripe so I can collect the seeds. So despite the uh, polar vortex, my navel orange tree is just uh, loaded with fruit. I don't know how long it will all hang on, but there's a bunch of it up there. So why has the garden been doing so well this year? Well, it's been a little bit wetter and it's been a little bit cooler. And those two probably go hand in hand. In any event, the garden is the best garden that I've ever had. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.